Hey, what's up guys? Brian and Liz here, Fullerton Party of Two. You gotta do this every time. Three, Fullerton Party of Three, baby's on the way. Two and a half. We got a little baby bump here. We'll get you guys a little <laughs> update. Uh, today, super fun vlog for you guys. We wanted to just kinda uh, relax a little bit and show you guys our brand new, uh, new construction home build architecture plans. Rendering. 3D rendering. Is it's that a rain day. So we actually took the day off. A lot of rain was coming through for our lawn landscape business. And so I said, we've been working on this video, uh, editing this this uh, walkthrough. It took me you know, a good hour, an hour and a half to just walk through the walkthrough <laughs> of the house. So we're gonna do a little voiceover with you guys and show you the house that we plan to build here yeah. uh, this summer. So I'm first, nervous. first off, uh, I wanna say a big shout out and thank you to TK Design. If you guys don't know uh, Todd, uh, and Katie that run TK Design in South Lyon, Michigan. If you are looking for custom home plans anywhere in the country, check them out. They're incredible. You guys will see what they designed for us. And then also thank you to Mike uh, Miller, our builder, uh, who led us to Todd and Katie. So very thankful for that. And then also shout out to the TK Design team, uh, Jacob, and uh, Mike Latimer, mm -hmm. incredible dude. So here's what we got going on behind the camera here. You guys can see we've got the MacBook. So we're gonna walk through right here right now are you I'm excited like, no i'm like nervous to show them we are really nervous to show you guys it's uh so look at we we've been living in dumpy apartments maybe you just found our channel like we, we run two small businesses one's kind of actually based around social media a little bit now we run a lawn and landscape company we've lived in the dumpiest apartments for seven years uh we've been banking some cash for about two and a half three years now uh putting a, a chunk in the bank you guys will probably see the home and go that's not a cheap home. You're right. Uh, so we've been putting some money in the bank. Uh, we'll start showing numbers later down the road and all that mess. Um, but we're very excited. So are you ready to do this? Yeah, just a quick note. Um, the rendering doesn't have like all of our finishings on it. Like the color of the house isn't what we're going to be going with. Like there, it's just a like a drafting of what the house looks like. So keep that in mind. It looks kind of like something you'd build on The Sims right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm excited. Uh, I, I kind of like the colors that it's made out to be, like on the exterior, uh, with the blues and the whites and the and the uh, dark grays and all that. So we'll see what we we'll go with. We'll see what we pick. We're, still, we're in that process right uh, now. So we're going to watch it here on our, yeah. our screen. We'll uh, share it with your screen. Let's click through. So here we go. You want to walk through? Yeah. All right, here you go. You jump into this. So here is the... So this is the front of the house. Um, like if you're standing kind of in the beginning of the driveway, this is your viewpoint. I really liked the uh, front porch. I wanted a big front porch. It's wide enough where we can have two porch swings facing in, not in front of the window. So it's it's a much larger porch than kind of the perspective that you're getting right now. And the arch over the front doors was really important to me too. I want to put a big, nice pendant light right there. Um, double doors. Eastern coastal style home. It's Eastern coastal mixed with like a craftsman style home. We're going to be doing like shake shingle on parts of the house. Yeah. So. So we have a whole separate garage with a uh, breezeway that's gonna go to the main home. And we didn't want a garage prod, uh, proud home, they call it. We wanted to have the garage separated so it's its own uh, whole section of the house. Yeah, I really like the flower boxes. You can even see we put one on the window above the garage um, and then the cupola, of course. I love all those little details. The back of the house, like this is my favorite view, probably even more so than on the front of the house, honestly. I figured we're gonna spend the majority of our time back here. Um, of course, I want curb appeal, but look at how fun like the back of the house looks. So Liz was talking about the peaks earlier. That's going to be one of the standout parts of the home. And then that whole uh, on, uh, covered back porch is uh, going to be crazy. There's going to be a yeah. pool and landscaping back here. Uh, that is the point of this Outdoor home. Outdoor fireplace. Yes, that's the point of this home is the host. And we can't wait to have so many of you guys watching. So many of our friends and family over. Uh, yeah. The idea is once you come over, you don't want to leave, right? <laughs> so And metal roofing. Like You can see some of the details are metal roofing. Not the entire thing, but we wanted touches of that. The, the trim the on the windows. Um, so it's Flower Eastern <laughs> Eastern Coastal Craftsman style home. Uh, we got a lot of the, right now we're debating grays and whites or dark blues and whites. Yeah. So love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you want to leave some suggestions in the comments, what do you guys think? Uh, so that's the front of the home. We wanted that big arch over the window and then in that left side, which is actually the closet. Uh, so absolutely beautiful. And then that breezeway. The breezeway is really cute. They even put like gooseneck um, lights on either side of the door. That's going to be a really fun little, yeah. little ex extra entry. Um, into the house, but yeah, uh, it's looking at about 4,000 square feet. A lot of questions about how big is the home uh, above ground about 4,000 square feet. So let's take you guys to the walkthrough. Ready for the walkthrough? Yeah. So this is if you're uh, just sitting there at the uh, on the lawn and looking at the house. What do you think? I think it looks good. It's crazy. Do you like the gray and blue? I, I do. I'm 
the I don't dark know. blue I and white? I need to see like a light blue option, I think. Too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So whole separate garage, like we were saying, um, big wide double door for the trucks, single door for the Lambo. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> one day, right? Uh, just having fun. Oh, and my, one of my favorite parts about the way that the fa house faces is we will get the sun, sunrise in the front so we can sit on our front porch, drink coffee, and then the back actually will face sunset. So yep. oh, it looks like we're going in now. So we're going into the front of the house. Like Liz said, big wooden double doors with the arch. We like that. Uh, the porch is actually like eight or so feet it's deep. It's like eight feet w like deep so that you can... Turn swings this way. Yeah, so that they can face each other versus covering the windows. So Bam. into the house, you're inside. <laughs> to the left is an office with double doors. They won't look exactly like this, but they'll be glass. We'll have like a curved um, window above to match the outside curves. A lot of arches in this house, if you guys can see. Liz is like getting out of breath. Out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the right is the dining room. This is the formal. Yep. You'll see a lot of arches and uh, radiuses uh, in the ceiling uh, in the the, art, the the doorways with the house. So mm -hmm. uh, a lot of case openings and square openings. Lots of windows. Wide open the concept. The staircase is pretty cool. This is not what it'll look like. It's just what they have available in the software. Um, this looks very modern. Ours will not be. It's definitely more traditional, but it's open all the way from the top all the way down so you can stand at the top and look all the way down into the basement or vice versa it's a really cool feature probably a little bit like it's pretty sweet it's, it's yeah I, I, i'm really excited about it um this is your entryway into the powder room so a half bath here along with a clo uh, coat closet and then when you continue in on the left is like the great room with a fireplace they'll be built-ins they won't look again exactly like this but you get the idea the ceiling um 12 foot i think I think, yeah. 12, 12 foot ceiling. 14, something like that. We Four to ceiling windows. We don't want to go with a double uh, 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 great room with like 16 feet high ceilings or, or bigger because it's a lot of air to move. Uh, this is 12 feet. So it's nine foot ceilings through the house, 12 feet in the uh, living room here. Um, that checkerboard uh, ceiling, we're really like that, big exposed beams. Yep. Those will probably be painted white. Yeah, and I think we're going to do a shiplap ceiling in the... Um kitchen dining family dining area so this is a, another huge radius we wanted these arches to um coincide with uh some other different design aspects of the house so we'll build some different character in there so the kitchen is pretty open concept big large island i think it's uh like four or five feet deep by like nine feet wide yeah it's the absolute biggest well we shaved off one foot though that we could get with it situated the way it is yeah um again floor to ceiling windows with two back entries on either side so one will take you out to like the covered porch covered porch and then the other side right here will take you there's a uh, little outdoor. outdoor cooking area which will be really cool for a grill how cool is that guys like a little built-in kind of area so you can see the little cupola out there uh, as well up top so <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll go back through this way uh first and we'll show you guys the uh garage the uh, uh, the storage room that we have, and then this is actually the outdoor pool house so that we, we added. So we wanted to make sure that we had somewhere that people could change. So this section is, so somebody can be changing, and then through this other door is a full bathroom. So somebody can be showering, somebody can be changing, um, and we wanted to access like outside so that people don't have to run through the entire house yep. to go to the restroom. And then if we're not home, people, you know, Wanna some use people the pool. have like access to the bathroom if they want to come over and use the pool while we're not home. There so. you go. Uh, again, I, I like the, the white and the dark blues. Uh, I know it's a little bit popular right now, but I also think it really accentuates the character of the house. I think it fits the house really well. Yeah. Uh, huge kitchen. Um, I don't know all the, the exact dimensions. and everything will be centered though. Like I don't, yeah. It's just in a funky spot right now. Um, Butler's pantry right here. So we're, we're gonna have a coffee bar and like snacks with a mini fridge right there for the kids. The uh, arches will go through the formal areas. You'll see the case openings and like the not formal areas. Uh, Cause it's like, don't worry about the peasants. But when you go to the formal areas, you'll see yeah, those. Uh, that details there. The radius is there, yeah. And it carries throughout the whole house, which is really fun. Big Butler's pantry for serving food if we have like parties. Yep. And then to the right is a walk-in pantry, which- I'm so excited about. Tables will be in there. We will have uh, the microwave. All of our appliances will be in here because I hate stuff on the counters. Yes. I am. I just hate stuff on the counters. So it's <laughs> nice that I'll have some place to put them all away, and then we can do, um, you know, dry storage. We've never had a place to store like yep. dry goods and things like that before. So, so. formal dining again with that arch and the radius there that will match the the office. Uh, this is the formal side if you can't tell. And then we walk back through here and this will be a thick wall again another like foot or two wide for uh, the thicker hallway to go through you guys can see the uh the radius there the arch and this is actually the um 
This is the mudroom. Mudroom. So this will all be brick actually on the floor, but we have these cute ca uh, cabinets. We're gonna get built-ins for yep, coats. Like hall. Yep, uh, this will all be brick from here all the way to the uh, kitchen. So that way, you, you like if we're wet uh, from uh, snow or rain or whatever, it doesn't track to the yeah, house. Yeah, we thought about tile, but with it being brick, it gives you a little bit more grip. So that's the secondary entry. So mostly like family, good friends and things like this is our informal entry that goes directly into the house. The front door is more formal with the double doors. Yep. So I really like having multiple access points into the house. Um, with that little window on the left there. That was yeah, quick. I like that detail. And then this is our laundry room, the door that you're looking at right now. Uh, it'll look a little different than this. I think the sink's actually gonna go underneath Saturn. the window. Yep. Um, and the washer and dryer I think might be on the other side. I don't know yep. uh, exactly, but Obviously, the cabinets and stuff like that will be different. So that we wanted to keep the laundry room and storage and supplies separate from any other room of the house. This will actually be a pocket door that, yeah. that will uh, cascade behind the wall It'll there. It'll make it nice and easy for lawn care. You know, when Brian comes home, that's the door to the garage. So he just can come in, drop his stuff right in the laundry room. Yeah. Um, it's on the first floor because our bedroom's on the first floor. The kids can bring their clothes this, down. I don't care. <laughs> this garage is huge. Uh, it's like... I like how they put lawnmowers in It's like garage. eight or nine foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had a uh, shout out to... Uh, Jacob and uh, Mike who put that together. Uh, these garage doors, I think they're eight or nine feet. I think they're, they're nine they're feet. They're like extra. Tall. They're they're as big as doors you could get, like without looking ridiculous. Uh, mm -hmm. So nine foot on the right. Uh, the left one again for like a sports car or something in the future. Uh, Liz wanted to drive and make the big swooping turn so she wouldn't. Uh, so originally the doors were reversed. I'm really good at going forward. <laughs> Any which way. <laughs> so um, so this garage is actually pretty huge. But one thing we didn't want in the garage was everything you put in the garage, right? right. We want it, the garage to be cars. Two, two things, we have a storage room we'll show you behind these lawn mowers, but then also the garage is wide enough to where you could actually open all your car doors completely wide open. There's three- All at the same time if you wanted to. There's three plus feet all the way around the cars. A lot of you guys gave us some suggestions on some of our earlier videos uh, six months so, ago. And here's another mud hall to the left, like when you go through that entry. Case so opening. Another, yeah, like a little opening. Here's the lockers where the guys can store their stuff, coats, boots, um, it'll be great for the winter. And then it'll keep stuff from out of side of the inside of the house, yep. especially the grass. I don't know if there's any other lawn care wives watching, but there's grass everywhere. Yeah. Um, this is our storage room. So this is where bicycles and pool toys and the patio furniture in the winter will go. So we, like Brian said, we didn't want any of that in the garage. Nope. So we have this extra little storage space and then this takes you right outside. And this will go right out to the back patio and pool area. Wow, they're oh, quick on the camera go. there. So this, so by the way, we wanted to limit uh, the foot travel through the main part of the house. So if you notice, if you come over to hang out, like Liz said, you can go through the whole kitchen and then out through the side uh, uh, outdoor kitchen door, uh, or you can go all the way through the pool house. All right, so this is something that I wanna make sure I mention this. These windows here, that whole door, they're gonna be accordion style doors. It's gonna be something like right out of MTV Cribs. You pop the door and all the accordions go all the way down. And this will be, I think nine feet high 16 feet wide, the whole doors will completely yeah. open up right down into the back patio. So um, be perfect for entertaining. Um, we're hoping lots of kids parties and graduations. And so I love this um, outdoor fireplace area. I think it'll really be fun in the fall and stuff living here in Michigan and um, having it covered, we'll have access to it. Year round, for year the round, really. If you, you can want. you can put a whole outdoor patio set there and a dining table. This, yeah, this the space, the scale that we're like, seeing is a little off. It's like 16 feet by like 23 or something or 26 feet. It's huge out it's there, guys. Um, and then Lisa put a TV up on the fireplace spot there, and that actually blocks as well from our master bedroom area, which yeah. is the uh, right side of the house. That window over there. that you saw to the right is actually our bedroom. So this is the uh, the roof. I, I just wanted to show the roof lines and the peaks. Yeah, I love the details, like the the metal roof the peaks, and then the little metal um, awning over the window. I think are really fun touches, and I like that you can see the fireplace. Uh, from the front of the house. So the right is actually the door to our master. And we wanted to be secluded. We first. wanted it to feel like its own private suite yep. away from the rest of the house. So to the left is our walk-in closet, to the right is our bedroom, and then the door immediately when you look in is the bathroom. Yep, and then we wanted its own separate hallway too. That way we didn't have to go from room to room with door to door. Yeah. It was just in its own suite, if you will. So what you're seeing, like this will be finished, like California closet, like cabinetry kind of stuff in the closet. But I wanted a vanity right in front of the window for natural lighting. Um, like I said, the sunrise will be right here in the morning, so I can sit down. I get ready almost every single day. Look at your flowers. I'll, have, yeah, I'll be able to look at my flowers, the deer in the yard, and the sun coming up. At least that's what I envision. Everybody who has kids are probably rolling their eyes at me right now. <laughs> watch some, watch some hummingbirds. Lady, you have no idea what you're in for. You're gonna be peeking through. Get off my lawn! You know. <laughs> this is the bathroom. We have his and hers vanities um, separated, which I hear helps with a lot With of divorce rate. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then a nice soaking tub centered below a window and a like cathedral part of the ceiling. We'll have a nice pendant light there and then a corner shower here. Yep. Um, and it's nice and big. I, I think we're still gonna be able to do like fancy two shower head. Like yep. it's a it's a nice size. So. And to the left, I don't know if you saw, but we wanted the um, uh, bathroom, the uh, uh, number two to have its own private room. Yes, the we like, we, has its own doors. Room. Yes. So a beautiful window out here, by the way. I think it comes up uh, three and a half feet or four feet. So a big window again there. Yeah. I think it's four feet. We took some measurements, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so really simple bathroom design. We're, we're not huge bathroom like proud type people. Like it we wasn't... wanted a nice, nicely done bathroom, but it didn't need to be massive. Yeah. Um, Tra nice ceiling. Uh, what, I forget what they call it, Trent. Uh, I don't know. The ceiling Tracing. that we're doing in here actually looks different than the rendering. Yeah, the rendering of video is not the same, but ray ceiling. These are floor to uh, ceiling windows, by the way. Yep. So these are expensive, they're huge, a lot of natural sunlight. Living, living in apartments, we've realized- um, We like windows. We, we like windows, we only had one <laughs> at our last place. Ah. So I wanted to put as many windows in as big as I could get in this house. Um, the windows aren't cheap, man. They aren't cheap, no. And you count the windows, you're like, those people are rich. <laughs> but I love the details above all the windows too. Like. If, there's gonna be a lot of little details. All right, so we're going upstairs. Uh, this this whole um, yeah, staircase, again, TK and also Mike Latimer said like this open concept, like open style staircase, super cute, super popular, love it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna put the fire pole down the middle. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this landing area will be a fun rec room kind of for the kids once they're older. Um, you know, TV, couch, we can put a desk out here if we want to. Yep. Um, when the kids are little, probably won't be much of an area for them to play just because it is open on the staircase, but we have the area there for when they're, when they're older mostly. Yep. Um, because once we will, we've learned through this process, it has, if you're, if you're going to need it later, you build it now because it's going to cost a lot to change, make changes make later. Changes later. So, uh, three bedrooms upstairs. This is the linen closet to the left. This is the, uh, we call this the favorite kid room. Yep. The, or the firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> because it has its own ensuite bathroom. Yep. So this is actually going to be the front of the house, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So it's got its own bathroom, its own shower, uh, beautiful windows, uh, and then it's got its own walk-in closet that you'll see to the back side of the uh, room there. So again, we got these metal roofs, that way if the kids run out at night, I can hear them clanging on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny right there. <laughs> and uh, tall enough ceilings as well, so if the kids jump, they break their legs and I catch them. Oh so. my gosh. <laughs> so, but again, you see the peaks with the white trim overhang. Uh, if you know detail work, like that's really um, impressive, uh, kind of detail stuff that, that we wanted to opt in for. Um, definitely expensive, but again, this is our forever home. So we're yeah. only doing this once. We do have the ability to do cool ceilings in the kids' room. So this is this rendering is just there showing us that we have the, the flex space to do it if we want to. Yep. Not sure exactly what the ceiling will look like in the kids' room just yet. Yep. And then, so this is the, uh, what do you call it? This, Jack and Jill? These are, this, these are two uh, bedrooms that are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom, meaning they have their own vanities, and then the shower commode space is shared. So. Yep. This is bedroom number one. This is the only bedroom that doesn't have a walk-in closet, but they have double the closet like doors. So it's, yeah. it's essentially the same amount of closet space as a walk-in closet. Yep. Um, and this door to the right here is what actually goes into the bathroom. Again, yeah. we can do a cool ceiling in here if you want to. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the back side of the house now. Yeah. So this will be um, bedroom. This is the least favorite child's room. <laughs> what? <laughs> because it doesn't have the walk-in closet. <laughs> uh, somebody's getting screwed. Hopefully it's a boy, not a Our girl. Our kids are gonna look at this later and be like, oh, so, so I'm the least Joey's favorite. the least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so you'll see on the right side of the house too, we don't have two matching uh, upstairs sections because the ceiling in the living room is raised 12 so feet. Tall, yeah. So it was like, and we could do a, a, a tw you know nine foot ceiling, but we wanted bigger ceilings to get some more air uh, and some more room in the so living room. This is the Jack and Jill part of the bathroom. They have a vanity sink and then a vanity they can sit at, or you can make that more storage depending on the gender of the child. This is the shared bathroom portion where so there's a tub. We're gonna start with a little splash and tub and then eventually probably remodel it to a shower once the kids are a little bit older. Yeah. Uh, that was a suggestion that the builder gave us. Uh, matching vanity again for the other uh, person's bed bedroom or whatever they want to do. Yeah. Right. And same same thing on this side. Um, we can make that storage or a space for them to sit and get ready in the morning, whatever they want to do. Uh, again, windows and then walk-in closet. Here. Very similar bedroom. Very very similar setup. I think I highlight the windows again. Um, again, we we went from one window to like this place probably has like nine or ten windows that we live in currently to like. 20 windows, so it's all about the windows, folks. <laughs> but uh, we have these uh, trans transom windows, up top, I guess they call them. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted more natural, everywhere you go, we wanted natural lighting to, to 
exude into the house because we lived in like dumpy dark apartments yeah. forever. Um, so again, this is showing you can look all the way down. I jumped down. Ooh, that's kind of scary. I'm on the fire pole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is the basement. So the, we jump right into the basement, finished basement. We opted to do it. It's gonna cost us a lot of money to do it. We just didn't wanna go through the construction process again later down the road. Yes, um, we live in a, a new construction place right now and it was kind of built around us. And so we've been living in construction for a while. We're gonna be doing this, building yeah. a house, and we just want it done. Yep, so. so the arch, same thing, got the matching radius arches that match upstairs in the mm -hmm. formalist of like areas, like the hall and the two different sections of the house. Um, you'll see some case openings too, but this just kind of continues that theme of like the arches. We love the arches. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, another couple thousand square feet finished down below. Um, big formal, like not formal, but big, big play area, rec area. This will of course be for like kids when they're older. Hey, go, yeah. go in the basement. <laughs> <You> <laughs> we know? have a little kitchenette down there too. Yep. Um, and then through here is actually a whole other suite. There's a bedroom, walk-in closet, a bathroom, and a linen closet all in this area. So this is the bathroom. It has a double sink and then a separate room for the shower and bathroom. So just a little bit more privacy. Um, and I don't know if we'll do anything super fancy down here, but at least we have the space if we want to upgrade things later we can. And then this door goes to the bedroom, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the idea was if we have a parent move in, you know, yeah. like uh, they get, you know, elderly parent, they have their own suite in the basement. Um, so and, this is the bedroom. Yep, so there's uh, the easement. <laughs> Looks like a jail cell. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a window though yeah. that goes up. What do they call that, an easement? Uh, egress window. E egress, egress. Egress. Yeah. And then there's a walk-in closet on yep. that wall. Walk-in closet on the right. Um, we walk-in closet? Oh, we are. <laughs> yeah, you gotta walk into the walk-in cool. closet. It's a decent size. But it's a nice suite down there. It's uh, yeah. probably a good 12 by 12, 15 by 15. I think it's as big as our bedroom here. Yeah, what's our current place? Yeah. Okay, well they don't know how big our current bedroom oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> 12 by 12, 15 by 15. Uh, again, love that case, uh, or that arch uh, radius uh, opening there. Uh, I, I like the details like that. Um, our builder, Mike Miller, is like helping us to save money where we should, spend money where we should, um, save money where we can. Uh, so to the right, we have another uh, potential office or school room. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of little flex spaces down here. Right now, I think we have this set up as your podcast. Uh, this might be a podcast studio in the beginning. Uh, if we have kids, it might turn into a, a homeschool room because uh, we can put chalkboards or whiteboards on the walls there. Just mm -hmm. different fun ideas, just a nice little office space. Uh, this is your craft room. Uh, again, this is uh, this is your craft room. The other place was oh, your storage room. Okay. So shelves again all over the place, so you can get anything you want in there. Just space, folks. Just space. We're tired of being crammed and running storage lockers galore. That's what we do with our business mm -hmm. right now. Uh, this will be the gym slash. Whatever we turn this into room, might put a, a tanning bed in here or something or whatever. Just just options, some free weights, maybe the Peloton bike. Definitely um, the Peloton bike. Definitely like just a little workout. We have the option of build, doing a uh, uh, breakout window there or a, a see-through window. Into the living room. Into the living room. Um, Not sure if we're going to do that, but it's an option that our builder was saying. Yeah. And apparently we're into uh, pool and ping pong tables, <laughs> which I don't think I've played either it's just, in I think a decade. I'm going to show you the space. And then we have a fireplace. This will be gas. Yep. Um, and it'll be, you know, like a fun space for holidays, especially, so. We're wrapping up here. So yeah. here's the exterior again, um, 4,000 square feet. It's like Eastern Coastal meets Craftsman. Uh, we love the peaks. We love the um, the whole outdoor back area is what we want to do. The pool house, I didn't want to spend another 10, 20, 50, 100 grand for a pool house later. That was um, uh, a cheaper compromise. The pool and the patio is gonna be this whole back area. The idea is you walk up to the house, you go, wow, you walk into the house, you see the living room, you say, wow. You open up the back windows and doors, go into the back area patio, you go, wow. Back left side here, uh, pole barn, auxiliary building. We're hoping to build that this fall. So that actually will probably get done before the house. Yeah. Um, so, so it's gonna be crazy, folks. But we can't wait to have the whole outdoor back patio landscaping and pool. I really, I love the, all of the windows too. I'll have eyes on the kids at all times outside with how many you know floor to ceiling windows we have back there. Yep. Um, the driveway here will be a nice big pad that you can take. Big apron for the garage. Yeah. Um, and then concrete driveway the whole way down to the main road there straight ahead. So it'll be a far right driveway. We didn't want a center driveway because we wanted a big front yard to be able to mow stripes and cut grass and <laughs> watch our kids play and our dogs play. Yeah. All right, so as we go through here, uh, just the same thing, finishing up uh, metal roof, big peaks, nice big open concept. And the idea here is to have this be our forever home. We want to be in here for uh, about the next 75 years. <laughs> <laughs> and so we wanted to just do it once, right? We wanted yeah. to build one home, do it right. It won't be our last home, but this will be our forever home. And so uh, I'll tell you what, we did spend uh, some expense 
and we're going to put some expense into the details, the nice little touches, uh, the whole extra suite uh, for us on the first floor. We wanted a first floor master. Yeah, because we do plan on being here like when we're older. So having yeah. access to a first floor master was important yep. for us. Um, and then the kids upstairs. There's also some things that we put into this house for safety features that we haven't shared. Yes. Um, not that we probably <laughs> won't be putting on YouTube um, for obvious reasons. But there, There's a couple safe rooms and a couple other things that we'll introduce you guys to later. A little tease there. Um, <clears throat> that, I know some people were like, you have so many entries into your house. And they're like, we also are a 2A family. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of windows, but there's a lot of uh, options to hide things if you guys know what I'm saying. Yeah. So what you guys see uh, is um, pretty much uh, the, the exterior and the shell and the interior. Uh, they're all pretty much set in stone at this point. This is what we're excited about building. Um, our next thing that we got to figure out is all the interior stuff. Yes, so, which we would need your guys' help on if you have any input about like certain finishings that you liked in your house, um, appliances. I mean, we have to shut. <clears> we're <throat> going from scratch. So if you have any recommendations, let us know. Um, yeah, spend our money. You know, spend our money. <laughs> help, help us spend our money. Uh, a couple things. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. A couple things that uh, we are going to put, most likely do for the house is a full uh, house generator. Uh, yeah. That's something that we want to do. We'll probably go with like Generac or somebody like that right now. Um, later down the road, we might do like Tesla um, uh, or just somebody's uh, uh, solar panels on the back side of the house and maybe the uh, what would be like the south facing uh, side of the pole barn roof, right? So we got like kind of like this thing going on with one here and then one this way. So collecting as much sun. It's an option for the back side of the house. And then um, later down the road, this is an option as well we can take the uh, walk-in pantry, actually cut it in half and put a small elevator in there if we ever wanted an elevator to the bottom floor when we get older. So That was like one thing, you know, we didn't want a ranch style house, but we also obviously you want access to your entire house as you get older. And so that was one of the solutions that we came up with. We've already priced out, we put it, the pantry in a location and kept everything above and below it in yeah. certain locations so that we could use that function if we want to down the road. Yep. Um, we figured if we're 60, 70, 80, we might not be cooking as much so we can kind of shove uh, <laughs> half the walk-in pantry. Yeah. Uh, but uh, basically just to price out an elevator and do all that, that whole mess, it's something that our uh, builder and also the architect said, hey, just something to think about if it is your forever home, something to think yeah. about, uh, making that as an option. Um, that's what we got for you guys so far. I mean, we're probably leaving out some details, so hopefully we can ask, uh, answer some questions. Uh, we'll talk numbers, prices, all that as we go. I plan to, I plan to share most of it as we go along the way. Um, it's it's pretty expensive, as you guys can imagine. Uh, the land right now, we're sitting on 3.5-ish acres. Yeah. Um, so between the we bought, land... We ended up, we bought like originally three acres. Yeah, bought another strip next to it. We bought the strip next to it. And so. we've been saving our money for the last uh, three years. Um, <laughs> and so we're ready to uh, put 20% down for this thing. Uh, uh, get it building and then honestly <laughs> we want to pay it off in like five ten years top all right guys well, we'll button it up right here if you guys have any uh, other suggestions or comments leave them down below we super appreciate it hey one thing we'll ask for you guys is to pray for us through the whole building process uh, <laughs> we, we were literally starting the building process as we we're giving, starting a family yeah so baby's due in july <laughs> How it should start in July, and we can't wait. Uh, it's gonna be a really exciting time. Again, check out TK Design, and uh, if you guys wanna see a little bit more of the blueprint walkthrough, we got another video here, one that we showed about five, six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also shout out to Mike Miller for suggesting us to TK. Uh, we wouldn't be here with this beautiful design without those guys. So uh, we got a dream team around us, we're excited. All right, guys, well, you gotta go. Uh, Take care of the baby. <laughs> you getting the birth. We will have a, a baby update. <laughs> baby update by the end of the week, right? Yeah. A little gender reveal? Yeah. All right, guys. All right, that's it. Fullerton party of two, guys. We'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye.